Hey y'all, <clears throat> no vlogs. I can't do it. I'm going to continue to post, but I can't do it. I am defeated, busy, and it just has not worked for me, y'all. It just hasn't worked. But anyway, let's keep a minute. So I went to the grocery store and prepared lasagna which was an epic fail because I bought the pasta that you don't have to boil and you're supposed to be able to just put in of it. It sucks. Some of it was kind of hard. Some was done. I will never, ever use it again. It was an epic fail. I mean, money is gone that I spent on that dish. You know, lasagna is not cheap. <sighs> oh, so mad. He had been asking me, the hubby, asking me for lasagna for the longest. It turned out terrible. So I still haven't ate. At this point, you know, you go so long, you hungry, but you kind of don't feel like eating. And that's where I am. So I think I'm going to do um, some tuna and make me a piece of toast and call it a day. But that's what I made. That cut me up an apple, put some Nutella on there, and uh, I'm gonna be good. My grandson is over. I just love that boy. He's just getting older, and the conversations you can have with him. I said something to him. He said, "Actually, I said you need to look in, look in the bathroom, and um, get the the." Uh, chapstick out the drawer actually um i don't need that i have my own i have my my um my own carmex i was like okay actually <laughs> he uh went to work with me after school he was so good i mean he is eight years old not like a little baby he didn't say a word he'll speak always speak and back to playing his video game. Straight A student. Very polite. Speaks well and I like that. Using proper English. Not walking around saying, is you this and is you that. My like, boy, you're not a slave. I really been thinking about having a breast reduction. I mean, I'm a D. And whenever I see somebody that, that says that they are a double D, their breast doesn't look like I would think a double D would look. Actually, to me, it's not that big. And considering I'm a D, I'm smaller than a double D. But just the pool that I have in this area... And at one point in my life, I was going to um, get the breast reduction. She told me that I would have to be a C, or did she tell me a small C? And I just was like, maybe that's too small? I don't know. But I think about it all the time. A breast reduction or a breast lift. I'm so tired of bras. I've worn bras from day one. I never, you know, went without a bra. And, you know, that's what, like 12 or so when you start having breasts? I don't remember. But whenever I started wearing a training bra, I've worn a bra ever since. I, I just absolutely detest bras. Soon as I get home, it's the first thing that I take off. I mean... I can't stand it. Do you guys do that? Like, come through the door. That bra is coming off. It's the best feel in the world. Even if I have to make sure I'm not sitting on them or stepping on them, I'm letting them loose. I mean, I can't do it. <laughs> Walk around in a bra all day. It's just, so when you get home, it's the best feel just to take it off. You know what? Um, I... But the other day, that's what I had on my face today. It was, uh, I got the um, Dream 
Urban Cover by Maybelline. It's a really nice natural finish foundation. And this is my second day wearing it. And I really do like it. Now I got it in the color 348. It's a little dark. So I am going to go get one that's a little bit lighter. I have the 348. But by the time I put on um, highlighter, it kind of evens itself out. I prefer to be a little darker around the perimeter and lighter in my center anyway. But this is a little dark. The 348. It feels really good. You see that color? Y'all see that? Now, this is my dark area because of the hyperpigmentation from having electrolysis and stuff like that. But it blends okay down in this area of my face. Y'all see? It's not real bad, but you can see that it's a little darker. But like I said, by the time I, I use the highlight, it evens out. But I am going to try it in another color. Um, if you guys want me to, to do a review of this makeup, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll do a get ready with me or something. It's a really smooth, lightweight foundation. I like it and that's why I'm going to get a lighter one and just see. I think, I don't think it was $10. I think that I got it from Target, but, um, it has SPF in it of 50 and it's just supposed to protect you from all the pollution that's in the air. So that's why they named it the Urban, Dream Urban Cover, because it's supposed to, you know, give you what you need and protect you at the same time. So far, I do like it. So far, I haven't had any breakout. I haven't tried the new Fenty makeup, the um, what, hydrating foundation. I haven't tried that, but I am, and I'll probably get it this weekend because I really want to try it. The older I get, the more I need hydrating, natural finish, the matte. It kind of shows a little too much fine lines and wrinkles and stuff like that. So I can tell the difference when I wear a matte foundation and when I wear a hydrating one. I, I believe that I look a little younger. My skin looks a little better when I wear something with a little hydration in it compared to the matte foundation. But with the matte foundation, I feel really like put together, like it is put together. The beat is going down when I put that makeup on. I, I love some Fenty, but yeah. So I wanted something that, that was cheap, that was good, that could last me some hours for every day because I wear makeup pretty much every day that I go to work. And I just don't want to use like my good foundation for every day, you know. So I just needed something that wouldn't just have me shining like a brass monkey while I'm at work because of the oils underneath the foundation and the oils that's in the air on the job. I mean, no, that's, that combination is not going to work for my skin. Even when I clean it. It's so sensitive, even when I clean my face, I start to have like red blotches, it'll settle down. But I just, if I put my finger on my face, it'll leave the whole fingerprint sensitive, flat out. Are any of you guys like that? And if so, let me know if there's something I can do to help with that because it's a situation. And that's it. I will see you beauties 